Is your suspension too soft? Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to change out that wimpy shock spring. Now, before we spring into the video, got a couple words of caution for you. Springs, I don't care what size they are, possess a lot of potential energy and they can be dangerous. So, if you're using zip ties or tie downs to compress your, your springs, don't do it. For 40 bucks, I'm going to show you a really cool little tool that's going to help you out considerably in the shop. And if you don't believe me that springs can cause a lot of damage, just ask this poor guy. <laughs> and here it is, folks. Probably one of the most cost-effective methods for compressing the springs on your shocks. Say hello to my little friend. This is the spring compressor from Tusk Racing. You get two spring compressors. Both are threaded with hardened steel hooks. Now when you do get these in the box, they do come with these little plastic protectors on the hooks to protect the springs from getting scratched up. The only downfall that I can find to these spring compressors, like I said, they come with one set of the plastic protectors on the hooks and you get one extra set, but you cannot buy these separately. But hey, for 40 bucks, go out and get another one or you can just take a cheap piece of inner tube, throw it on there in between the spring and the hook, and you're all set. Now, let's see how this tool actually works. Now you're gonna wanna take the spring compressors and put them around your springs like so and you want to try and get them as close to even around there as possible. Tighten these up because you want those hooks to engage the coils. Now what you can do is you can either use a 17 millimeter socket or you could just use a 3 8 extension that fits right in the end here. And to compress the spring all you're going to do is tighten them up. There's the collar. Just slide your spring right off after you take the bolt out. And just slide your spring right out. Installation of the new spring, exactly the opposite. Just put the tool on the spring, engage the coils, you're going to compress it, slide it back on the body, and you're going to loosen it to lengthen the shock again. Don't forget to slide your collar back in there, and boom, you're done, ready to hit the tracks and the trails. 